honoring a mother, this gift of love has a lounge space for eight, can sleep up to three, has a beautiful kitchen, and of course, a fully functional bathroom. All of this inside a Temo Traveler. Hello adventure lovers and welcome back to a brand new episode of A Walk Through the Conversion. This is your host Vidushi. I hope the wind is not troubling you too much. Today we are in a new location out and about in nature. And if you are new here and are just hopping on to the overlanding caravaning culture, then Motorum Adventures is a three decade old company that rents and builds all thing home on wheels and more, ranging from a club on wheels to election campaign vehicle, food truck, and of course, caravans, RVs, motorhomes. In today's episode, we will be walking through a home on wheels that is more than just a customization. Our client wanted to create a safe space for his mother to travel in comfort whilst being in the comfort of their home. It's based on a BS6 4020 wheelbase Tebo Traveler and the name is Brahmitu. This is your true vacation companion. The name stands for wanderer or travel lover but in Sanskrit. So without further ado, Let's walk through this conversion. You know the drill. We are going to start from the exterior, roundabout, from the driver's side to the rear, and then in we go. So as you can see, the exterior has been painted in a shade of gunmetal gray with black highlights all over. Now you'll notice that the exterior, the exterior fascia does match a tad bit with a Temo Traveler, but it is different. And that is because we have done minor fascia work in this caravan. Now moving on, we have the standard lights. Up top, we have a solar panel as well as lights and a security camera can definitely be added. Apart from that, on the base vehicle itself, we have upgraded the suspensions. So we get this feedback a lot that the suspension of a Dembo Traveler is not that optimal. And that is why post doing the customization, we always, always opt for the air suspensions that again, have been done in the Motorhome Adventures HQ. Moving to the driver's side, again, you'll see that unlike most of our caravans, there are no exterior amenities in this camper. And that is because the client wanted to keep it simple. So here we have our fuel inlet. This one right here is an exterior shower. In case the staff on board needs to take a shower, they can do so. In case you have muddy feet and want to get them cleaned before you enter the caravan, you can take a shower here as well. Now moving on to the rear where we have a two door opening. So opening the first door, this right here is our gas geyser and this right here is the back end of the bathroom. Anything goes south with the bathroom, this is where you're going to get your hands dirty at. Next up, so this right here is where we have the storage space to store a genset and this is our cabinetry we have ample storage space here but this is only accessible from the rear again the purpose of Brahmitu is just for a vacation so the client is not looking forward to take certain kind of luggage and accessories out and about when they are traveling moving on we are now at the co driver side where we have our spare tire and this right here is where we have our gen set and up top you can see that we have an awning so with a simple twist and twirl, you get your awning opened in case it's too sunny, in case it's raining, you can just open the awning. This one right here is in black color. All the highlights, the hardware right here has been powder coated in black so that it becomes rust proof. You can also extend it, you can increase or decrease the height depending upon what kind of shade you require now before we hop in we have one last detail so this right here is a motorized stairway a motorized step we press the button that's there in the cabin and it opens right up and now in we go
right when we enter you can see the color scheme that adds a beautiful beautiful look so we have a combination a blend of oak wood we have pine wood gray and then we have vinyl flooring which again is in a shade of a pine wood color first up we are going to talk about the dashboard so you can see the complete dashboard has been painted in a shade of chocolate and walnut color now the dashboard comes with minimal amenities we have an android screen up top here we have an android tv a smart tv which you can simply pop right up when not required so this kind of setup is something that's going to be helpful if you do not want to create a complete wall between the cabin area and the rest of the camper van now in Brahmetu, we have used a manual setup but you must have seen a motorized setup in lounger 2.0 which is another one of conversion that we have done so in the lounge area we have a seating of uh, the trois quatre cinq six set with so eight people's seating and three people's sleeping about which we are going to talk at the very end of the video coming back to the seating setup we have these passenger view seats which can each be swiveled to form a round table conference like structure so this one this one this one and this one all four of these seats are swivelable and apart from that we have this table setup which is removable and it can also move so if you're sitting on this seat or the person there requires the table you can just pivot it and shift it and when not required you simply remove this table remove this pipe and store it on the rear now another thing that i want to talk about is this box right here so inside this box we have our batteries and we in this camper van have used the lead acid batteries but we can always always upgrade to the lithium ion batteries which are much more better and they provide power for a longer duration Apart from the batteries, I just want to mention to anybody who is considering the battery operated mechanism or even considering having a camper van, always opt for an isolator. An isolator is basically something that divides the battery that's going to be used to start up the engine versus the battery that's going to power up your whole caravan and again talking about the batteries all the lights that you see here the profile lights the rgb lights etc all of these work on a 12 volt dc battery operated mechanism so next up we have this boss chair now again this is something that has been customized for the mother of our client and because of that they have given it a different look this is a boss chair this is the alpha chair but apart from that there's a lot of comfort element that is there in this particular chair and apart from that this one right here is a motorized recliner so we have our thigh rest that's going to come up and then we have the recliners it can come on the front it can go back and personally i think this is very very comfortable it has enough back support it has enough head support as well and this one these chairs all of these have been customized in the motorhome adventures hq now because that table right there seems too far we have created the same asymmetric bifold table that we have provided in our other caravans so pull it open flip it and you have your personal table set up right here now we are going to move towards the rear seating setup so this one right here is a drop down sofa it's very lightweight i'll just put it open and then it goes down you just need to pull up these rods and you have one person's sleeping setup we are going to talk about the other two person's sleeping setup in a moment but apart from that in here we have storage so this one right here is your basic storage underneath right there that is from where you can access your genset maybe sometimes the weather gets cold maybe you do not want to hop outside the caravan so you can turn on or off your genset from this area right here So on the opposite side we have our kitchen area now this asymmetric detail is personally one of my favorites i think the top one top two in my list has always been domicile and then mastodon after that but this design really does give both of those designs a good competition apart from serving as an aesthetic it is also serving as a utility because whenever you're cooking something if you require an extra aisle you do have that 
Speaking of the kitchen, we have the basic amenities. So we have a two top burner. We have the FRP sink. Again, this FRP material as well as the one that's on the sides of this caravan on the sides of Brahmitu. These are all FRP panels that we mold and we dye and then we create for each and every caravan. But the purpose is not just to make the task easy, it is also because this is all weather friendly, this is very lightweight and it adds a rather regal look to the caravan overall. Coming back to the kitchen, here you can see we have an exhaust, up here we have a microwave, a fridge that again operates on a 12 volt DC battery operated mechanism. Again these storage spaces are really really cool and we have a deep storage as you can see. So although we are saying that this is a caravan, Ramitu is a caravan which is only meant for a vacation, the storage space says otherwise. So the first storage, here's the second one. And this right here is the space where you're going to show your 5 liters blast proof LPG. So that is all about the kitchen. Now coming back to the standards, as I said, all the lights in the camper van are functioning using the 12 volt DC battery operated mechanism. Apart from that, we have a music system. We have these blinds throughout. And because the windows are concealed from the exterior, it again adds a very unified look. Apart from that, we have a one ton static AC up top and there's also an auto AC. So the purpose of auto AC is to function when the caravan is rolling and the purpose of static AC is to function using the genset when the caravan is stationary. Now we are on to the second last amenity of this caravan and the way I'm standing, the location where I'm standing at, if you are our long term subscriber, I think you can literally recite what I'm going to say next. So building bathrooms on wheels is in fact our USP. We have provided multiple bathrooms for different paramilitary services such as ITBP, CRPF and of course we have provided these bathrooms in our existing caravans and customization. Now why our bathrooms are special? It is because number one the kind of technology that we use in the commode and secondly the kind of material that we use in the bathroom overall. So similar to the walls of Brahmetu. The bathroom also is made up completely using the reinforced fiber polymers. It is lightweight, it is all weather friendly, it is very easy to maintain and we're going to talk about it more once we enter the bathroom space. So as you can see the top the sides, even the wall, the look completely is unified. So there's no crack, there's no paleness and it's really very easy to clean and maintain it. But apart from that, the number one reason why you should upgrade to our bathrooms in your existing vehicle, be it a caravan, be it a compact conversion, is because of this cupboard right here. So the tech that we use is similar to the tech that you get in the airplanes. It's termed as pneumatic activating valve. So this this camera right here works on the pneumatic pressure. That means the pressure that is generated through the engine, that air pressure is what we are using to shut off or open the valve of the camera. And because of that, the odor stays at bay. Apart from that, another thing that we do provide with our bathrooms is this liquid which is going to take the black water material and turn it into almost a watery form. So by the time you're actually discarding it, it's not going to be harmful for the environment. As for this bathroom, we have the basic amenities. So we have a fiber reinforced sink. We have the soap holder, towel hanger. We have the soap or shampoo dispenser, a toothbrush holder, a logo window for exhaust purpose and on the top we have the profile lights but you'll notice that there is no shower in the bathroom of Ramitu and that again is because this is a vacation caravan this is not something that you can take off the grid and get lost for n number of days this is just a vacation asset so that wraps up our bathroom tour now the last amenity that we have in this caravan is the sleeping space for two people now if you are new on our channel again you may not know where the bed is but if you have seen our existing customizations Shiloh and Rambler you know that the bed is right on the top can we pan the camera on the top so here we have these charcoal paneling which apart from holding our profile lights is also a false roof so once we press this button right here the bed is going to come down 
as you can see all i had to do was press just this button so we have a motorized belt driven mechanism and because it's being supported by these poles one here one there it's sturdy enough to even be open whenever you are on the roll or on the move the mattress again is in a shade of gray similar to the rest of the upholstery and that wraps up this walk through the conversion so this is just one of the conversions that we have created and there is a lot and lot and lot more in the motorhome adventures arsenal that said if you are interested in getting this kind of asset customized or maybe something different maybe an arcade on wheels maybe a club on wheels a salon on wheels or whatever you dream whatever you vision motorhome adventures can make that vision become a reality so if you want to build any sort of asset you can visit our website that's www.caravanconversion.com and if you are someone who is maybe scared to commit to such a big asset then you can also rent our assets and if you're thinking i do not know where to travel i do not know how to travel in a caravan then don't you worry we have both curated and customized itineraries customized itineraries are the ones wherein you are going to travel as per your plan so you are the captain of your own ship you decide the day you decide the location you decide the destination and you create the plan whereas curated travels or curated itineraries are the ones wherein our team has already traveled to those locations so you don't need to worry about the park you don't need to worry about where you're going to hold and you do not need to worry about what happens next one of those trips is the adventures of Ladakh which is coming up in this season so if you are someone who is an adventure enthusiast and maybe you have traveled Ladakh before this trip the adventures of Ladakh is something that you have never experienced before we travel not just with your caravan not just you and your caravan but a lot and lot of people who are traveling in a group each in their separate caravan and to cater them all we have a food truck and then we have a backup vehicle which is going to give you backup which is going to give you aid if required all of these details can be found in the link in the description box below or you can visit our website lastly if you do like the video please give it a thumbs up because it tells us that you guys do like these kind of customizations and we love walking through these customizations for you that said please do consider subscribing for we will be posting many more fun conversion and travel videos in the home away home on wheels motor home adventures signing off Thank you.